very much for the kind introduction. I am Kamimura from NF Folding. So today、uh, we'd like to uh, present uh, on the、uh, low noise technology for quantum computing. So first, this is our company. So NF Holdings Corporation was founded、uh, from the university. So、uh, it is the university launch venture and leading company in measurement control, and、uh, it was founded、uh, in 1959. And then in 1961,、uh, we developed Japan's first oscillator, and also、uh, we have、uh, first developed Japanese first FLL system for brain magnetic field measurement using a squid. So an elfordings. Have been building the、uh, low noise signal detection technologies in its history. So oh, now I'd like to talk about what is required of, required for quantum computers and quantum sensing devices. These are the uh, uh, in a rough、uh, schematics of the quantum computer and quantum sensing. The what commons are. The、uh, low noise amp to detect the signals, or the uh, DC uh, voltage source or DC current source exist, and also then、um, uh, low noise amp and signal generators are necessary. So the、uh, noise output from the control systems、uh, will increase the error rate. Of the quantum computer and also reduce the dynamic range of the quantum sensing. Therefore, with this controlling system, we need to have the low noise and high stable、um, performance. So next, I'd like to introduce you the、uh, products from NF. Uh, for the、uh, quantum computers and quantum sensing, so a first product is the low noise amp, and second one is the、uh, low noise signal. Excuse me, low noise uh, the uh, DC voltage source and the DC current source, and then the third one is the low noise signal generator. So for the、uh, low noise amp, we have a high speed. Uh, low speed、uh, DC amp and、uh, high speed AC amp. So today I'd like to talk about、uh, AC amp for the sake of time. So AC amp is the has、uh, can be used for a gate type and kneeling type and Q sensing. So.、Uh, 50 ohm impedance types of the amps are normally used, and let me talk about the、uh, low noise technology for this、uh, 50 ohm、uh, AC amp. So this is the generic circuit.、Um, so with this, the, for the input we have a 50 ohm、uh, resistance. So then the、uh, heat noise、uh, will be added. On the amplifier, and on the right-hand side, it has a 50 ohm, uh, the uh, 50 ohm thermal noise, and、uh, x-axis is absolute temperature, and y-axis is the voltage de noise density. And this orange line shows the thermal noise of the 50 ohm. So, so always the.、Uh, Uh, the for the generic amp, the、uh, this is the 0.91 nB、um, hertz, and so you cannot lower go that. But for the、uh, NF products, so this is the circuit. So for the input new impedance, we have an active impedance technology. So therefore, for we maintain the 50 ohm. While meantime, the、uh, heat noise at the input can be lowered, and also amp itself has the our own original low noise and stabilization、uh, technologies. So with these technologies under the room temperatures. 
so 0.25 nanovolt hertz uh, low noise can be achieved. This level, converting to the 50 ohm thermal noise, this is the equivalent level as the uh, temperature of a liquid hydrogen. So now I'd like to explain the uh, performance based on these technologies. And on the left hand side, this is the uh, noise frequency dependency of the amp output. And uh, the frequency is x and uh, y axis is a noise figure. And uh, 0 0.9 dB is the actual measurement. And so this is a very uh, low noise dependency. And on the right hand side, it's a, a gain temperature dependency. X is the temperature, and then the Y is the gain variation. So 40 dB is the gain of this amp, which is very high. But the temperature state stab stability is 0 0.0042 dB per uh, centigrade. So it's very stable. So with our original technologies, we are achieving the uh, 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 there is stability and the low noise features. So now this is our amp. On the left-hand side, it's the external view of our amp. So we, uh, we design it in a compact design so that we can uh, up, you know, uh, handle the multiple qubits. It's very small, and on the right-hand side, we have a specification. As I said, it's a low noise and high, highly stable. Therefore, under the room temperature, under the down after the down conversion, the, you can use it to amplify the s uh, signals under the down conversion. After the down conversion, excuse me. So next, I'd like to talk in about the uh, our schematic diagram of a superconducting quantum computer. On the other hand side, it's the uh, diagram for the general diagram. So the um, qubit is uh, working under the in the dilution refrigerator. So we use the Josephson parametric amp and uh, also under the uh, room temperature, you need a, a low noise amp. So these amps have the very low noise, but then to drive these, we need a direct currency. And the direct currency has a noise, which it should not uh, cause a degradation of the qubit and the amp. So uh, let me then talk about the impact of the uh, DC voltage source noise on the amplifier performance. So high frequency amplifiers and sensors are greatly affected by the DC voltage source noise. So on the right hand side, the low noise amp, uh, the output uh, noise waveforms are shown. The, the uh, X is the time and the Y is the uh, noise. So, so the uh, top ones are the uh, Top ones uh, are the uh, output uh, waveform with the generic amplifiers, and the uh, red one is the NF products ones. And as you can see, with the different uh, source, uh, you will see the different output waveform. And also, the, the left hand side is the frequency dependency of the DC voltage source noise at 10 volt. And the frequency is, is X, and the voltage noise depend, uh, density is uh, a Y. And the linear voltage source is a blue line, and the NF products is the red line. And if a product's noise level from the uh, low frequency to a high frequency, it uh, shows a very low noise. It's a uh, world well, top level low noise performance. So it that these noise level will not have a negative impact on the uh, um, performance and the qubit. So now I'd like to talk about our technologies to realize the low noise. So first we have the DC block diagram here. On the analog part, in the analog part, that 
we designed the transformer so that it has a low leak age flux and also we have the uh, regulator design for low uh, one slash f noise and the low noise floor and for the external noise we have the high efficiency seal structure against external noise and from the digital part uh, we we design the isolation card so that it blocks the noise from the digital section and this isolation card uh, circuit uh, can uh, reduce the uh, high frequency noise. So by combining these technologies, we re realize the low noise products. So next is the uh, uh, important uh, key points for high stability in DC power supply. On the left hand side, we have a fifth the output uh, temperature dependency at the uh, 10 volt and uh, X is the temperature and Y is the output variation. And this time, NF original uh, temperature guaranteed circuit was developed. So as a result, 0.5 ppm per centigrade can, was realized. And also on the right hand side, it is the uh, time dependency of uh, output voltage fluctuation at 10 volt. Excess time and uh, Y is the output variation again. So uh, since we have the, uh, de we developed a unique um, uh, high stabilization technology for internal bias circuits. So we uh, have the uh, very uh, high level of the, um, stability. So uh, let me now explain the um, appearance of our products and the specification. The size is a 19 inch rack size and the height is a 3U. And then inside we have a 16 channel outputs. On the right hand side we have a spec. Uh, according to the purpose, we have a unipolar output type and a bipolar output, output type available. As I said earlier, it's a low noise and then highly stable. So therefore, the qubit uh, function as well as the uh, you know the drive for the amp under the extremely low temperature. Uh, are the very good use case for this product. And the next is the um, low noise um, DC source was developed. So I'd like to show you that on the right hand side. We This is the external view and the so we designed this based on our voltage source. So it's the same size. And the specification is on the right hand side as same as a voltage source. Uh, we have the uh, well top level, uh, low noise and the high stability. So it's low noise and the high, highly stable uh, magnetic field generation can be done and also that it supports the uh, dynamic range uh, sources. Lastly, I'd like to talk about the low noise signal source. Here, this is the uh, this is a control for the trans uh, magnetic field required for um, needing quantum computing. So this is a waveform of the uh, trans um, transverse magnetic field. So we uh, change this trans uh, transverse magnetic field gradually uh, to, and then uh, controls the qubit uh, qubit energy level. So uh, we have the smooth wave noise is required for the transmagnetic field. So I and also you need to have the suppression of the high high frequency noise with high energy. So 
on the top that we have a, a conventional typical signal generator configuration high reality achieved by oversampling and filtering. So uh, the generation of high frequency noise is done by uh, uh, oversampling. So in order to achieve the uh, high linearity, you need to have the oversampling. You need to do the oversampling. So to do that, you have to have a high, freq high frequency clock, so, uh, which generates the high energy, uh, high frequency noise. So, but now the bottom is the uh, NF products configuration. So after converting the waveform data with the DAC, and then uh, it will uh, output uh, through the analog linear interpolation circuit. So current the sampling point and the next sampling point's difference are detected and maintained. And then after that, uh, using this uh, integration circuit, uh, so based on the difference data, it generates the uh, stable uh, constant uh, waveform. So using this circuit with the low uh, frequency clock, you can generate the very smooth uh, waveform. And also with the low, since it is working with the low frequency clock, so it you can suppress the uh, uh, the high frequency noise. So with this technology, uh, we realized the following performance. First, on the top, it is the uh, the output uh, output waveform of the control uh, wave, and uh, the le left top is the NF products output waveform, and the uh, right top is the uh, uh, output noise uh, waveform of the typical signal generator. As you can see. The uh, output noise of the NF product is very small. And also on the bottom, we have the, uh, this is the uh, output waveform of the control uh, waves. The right bottom is the, um, uh, the detail view between the uh, two sampling points. And between the two sampling points, uh, we realize a very smooth uh, waveform. So with this uh, analog linear interpolation circuit, we uh, realize the uh, low noise and the very smooth uh, waveform. So now I'd like to show you our products, external view and the specification on the left-hand side. We, it shows the uh, configuration and the uh, appearance of our products and so it is a very strong against the uh, environment noise for example with this optical communication unit uh, it uh, isolates the noise from pc and as a power source in order to prevent the noise from the ground, we have a floating design, and also the power source itself has a no low noise design. And also for the signal output unit, we have a differential signal design in order to reduce the common noise, excuse me, common mode noise. On the right hand side, we have a specification. Currently, the maximum, uh, we support the uh, 1,024 channels as synchronization, and it is strong against the environmental environment noise. So uh, this is optimum to create the low noise um, uh, transverse uh, magnetic field generation. So it's a summary. So in a holdings corporation develops and delivers the low noise, high stable equipment. And also uh, we have the uh, con contributing the quantum uh, computing uh, sensing field by creating new value through creativity and technological strengths as a leading company in measurement and control. Uh, this concludes my presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you.